What's up, Cypress Bay? I'm Sam Perez, and last month, I, along with 27 others, traveled to the Golden State of California to attend the Student Television Network convention. As part of our time there, we competed in a competition known as Individuals, where our teams had to write, film, and edit videos to various prompts. Here are our submissions, and we hope you enjoy. Hi guys, my name is Andrew Dunham and I worked alongside Martina Rodriguez in this year's STN Convention Promo Competition. We flew to California and had two and a half days to write, film, and edit. We ended up winning first place. Hope you enjoy. Every day, all across the nation, students like you are pursuing their passions to tell stories. But once every year, they meet in one place where their voices are empowered and their skills are challenged. This is STN 2023. Where young video creators from all across the country come for several days to learn, compete, and connect. Join thousands of students in the pursuit of growth. Come and show what you're capable of. Meet people. Make connections. Inspire. And be inspired. Embrace the experience and spark the motivation in yourself to let the creative energy flow from one another. STN Long Beach is the perfect place to discover how through our craft, we can be a beacon of light, bringing hope and joy to those around us, and to become a positive influence in the world. Don't just come to compete, come to experience. Put all your doubts behind you. Dare to explore, dare to create, and dare to dream. Be shining example of goodness. Be the light. I'm Ava Pounder. And I'm Samantha Rosenzweig, and we competed in an SCN's competition, Tell the Story. And for our competition, we had three hours to edit a news package with provided footage. Our prompt was a new wrestling program. Here's what we produced. I think it's exciting. I mean, anytime you start something, you have a vision for something, um, and, and you hope and dream and think, what will it be like? I think for this first year, this has been an awesome start for us. I think, um, you know, between the facility, between the success the kids have had so far at their other meets, um, you know, just getting to do this tonight, getting them to get to compete inside Mesquite um, in front of their parents, their friends, people that hadn't got to watch them all year long. Um, I think it's been pretty incredible. We, we got a few weeks. We got about one week till district. And uh, I just wanted this to really showcase our kids. You know, we could have brought in another team uh, to wrestle, but I want to just, I want to get all of our kids a match, maybe two matches, be able to showcase, you know, ourselves to the, to the town and community just so they can see what we're doing. really cool to like go against my teammates and like see all of them like go against each other and also have all the like parents and like our friends from school come out and finally see wrestling. Well, it's good for anybody. I mean, it teaches you how to, you know, overcome adversity. It's hard. Everybody can do it. You know, it's um, it takes a special kind of kid, a tough type of kid, and it makes you better not only, uh, you know, for football and other sports, but it just makes you better in life. I'm Giovanna Sheldon. And I'm Tristan Zankong. And alongside Tad Bachensky and Gabriella Kerber, we were tasked to film and edit a PSA in under six hours. Our prompt was log out, disconnect, and reconnect. We hope you enjoy. Hi, I'm Zane Vidal. Me and Drew Van Dam had six hours to write, film, and edit a sports commentary to the prompt, is eSports really a sport? Here's our video. Hi, I'm Drew Van Dam, 
and recently I've been thinking a lot about esports. Not just because I've been up till 3 a.m. on the Call of Duty grind, but because of the sudden and recent growth of the sport has brought up this age old argument. But yet the same question still lies Is esports really a sport? For example, the IEFS International is the biggest annual esports competition in the world. It consists of a 5v5 and $40 million prize. Competitions like this are very fast paced and competitive, just like other sports. A game such as Fortnite may not exactly be suited to provide the most activity, but games like Wii Fit and Just Dance are specifically designed to do so. A sport can be defined as a physical activity requiring skill or physical prowess. Since esports has knowledge, communication, preparation, and training, I see no reason for them not to be considered on the same wavelength. For STN, I'm Drew Van Dale. Hey guys, I'm Alex Suke. In this past spring break, Sam Perez Lorenzo, Brady Shea, Ivan Bronfman, and I competed in STN's Seinfeld competition. We had six hours to plan, film, and edit a film to the prompt on Cloud9. We were really happy with our submission in a national competition, we managed to come out with a fifth place, our album mentioned. Enjoy. Hey everyone, I'm Alessia Levayan. And I'm Matthew Meka. And this past spring break, we had the chance to fly out to California to compete in STN's human feature interest story alongside Male Ojeda and Samantha Duarte. We had six hours to write, film, and edit to the prompt behind the scenes. Here it is. On your daily stroll down the coast, you might see an animated crowd gathered to create a wave of change. Really, going to a beach cleanup is so simple. Justin's Beach Cleanup's 30 minutes tops. It's a very laid back, welcoming, casual event. So This beautiful beach is all thanks to the one who lies beneath the surface. And I was noticing the amounts of trash that was washing ashore, and I wanted to do something about it. I knew that the city was unable to pick it up fast enough, and I didn't like having to jump over piles of trash. What's more is that this cleanup wasn't situated on a river but rather with a long lost love. Yeah, Rosie's Dog Beach was named after my first English Bulldog and her name was Rosie. And I think dogs smile and I saw a smile on her face every time she would come over here to this beach. She's no longer with us, but that memory will always live in my heart. It's their youth center. It's $5 they say two it's is by better than month. one, and but Justin believes one whole crew is better than two. That means that you've got to be willing to, um, to not take all of the credit. Believe me, I get a lot of credit for doing this beach cleanup. Adults, the teens are setting the example for those younger kids um, here at the beach cleanup. And it, it takes a lot of us being behind the scenes to pull off something like this. Some could say the devotion of these volunteers is nothing short of inspiring and perhaps a match made in heaven. Reporting for Student Television Network, Alessia Lopez. In this next video, Tylin Joaquin and I had six hours to plan, film, and edit a 60 second movie trailer to the prompt Never Goes Away. We also had to include the line of dialogue, go ahead, I'll catch up. Here it is now. So I have this thing. And it never goes away. Go ahead. I'll catch 
shop. Tonight, a series of killings in Stockton, California, have residents on edge. I'm Luisa Hernandez. I'm Maria Vittorio. I'm Mariana Sanin, and we also worked alongside with Sabrina Borman. For our competition, we had six hours to film and edit a commercial to advertise a pop socket. Here it is. I hope you enjoy. Hello everyone, I'm Virginia Monasterio. I'm Linda Dubrow. I'm Claire DeLuca and this spring break we traveled to California to compete in SCN's short film competition. We had six hours to write, film and edit a short film to the prompt, easier said than done, and we did it with our colleague Lauren Moise. We're super happy with how our film turned out and got second in the nation. Hope you enjoy. Ridiculed. What are you gonna do to me? I'm gonna make your life a living hell. Uh, so are you gonna start soon? Shut it! Shut it! Sorry. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet. Okay. I'm a little hungry. I was thinking more like a steak. Avocado toast? Sorry. So like, did you just kidnap me and not plan what you were gonna do next? Look, it isn't that easy. Well, you could've done a little bit of planning. What would you like me to do? It's easier said than done. Well, I think you're doing a great job. I'm pretty scared. Well, that means a lot coming from a girl like you. Side, things could have been worse for you. I could have been an actual creep who actually wanted to murder you. I could have, you know. That's all for this special edition of Aftershock. If you want to watch previous episodes, check out our YouTube channel at Cyberspace CBTV and follow us on all of our social medias. I'm Sam Perez. Thanks for watching.